Hello and welcome today for another uh, digital slide review sign out session. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel. Our program, a collaboration with the Digital Anatomic Pathology Academy, uh, Digital Pathology Association, and PATH presenter. And my service is provided by the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center. Our case uh, is one of our uncommonly encountered uh, GI cases. That comes from a pediatric patient, a 12 year old girl recently adopted. Uh, from Southeast Asia, and uh, upon arrival is found to have rather uh, persistent diarrhea and really not uh, gaining weight very well and having sort of malabsorptive uh, symptoms. So uh, following a pediatric uh, a gastroenterology exam, they decide to do some uh, further evaluation and uh, upper endoscopy is performed, uh, leading to the procurement of uh, three small bile biopsies, as you see here, well, actually maybe four fragments. Um, and at low magnification, we can see, you know, a suggestion that there's some villus architecture here. Uh, it's a little bit on the blue side, although sometimes pediatric patients have uh, uh, moderate numbers of uh, lymphocytes. Here's some more villi here. So we don't see uh, too much that looks uh, uh, of great concern right off the bat. We'll look over here and see uh, that uh, the crypt to uh, villus ratio is uh, probably okay. Uh, but as we look here at some of these uh, enterocytes, it looks like there's uh, quite a few extra nuclei here, and maybe some lymphocytes in here. So we'll take a look at some of the other uh, sections uh, here from this patient uh, and see if uh, that uh, impression begins to pan out. Here we see a few lymphocytes in the uh, lamina propria as it uh, comes into focus here. Uh, and again, we see just a few too many nuclei along this uh, uh, border here. Um, maybe okay over here. So uh, could this be lymphocytic uh, enteritis? Um, here we see again a few too many nuclei. And uh, looking at our last uh, section here, um, again, we see um, more than the one to five uh, nuclei uh, that we'd like to see for lymphocyte nuclei. And of course, uh, here it's an area right here where it's nicely uh, highlighted. Uh, we could do a CD3 or a CD45 stain to sort of verify that we've got too many uh, lymphocytes here in the uh, epithelial compartment. Uh, so uh, what are we to make of this? We don't have villus atrophy. Uh, is this a case of lymphocytic enteritis or a, uh, a setting of that sort? Um, or is this a manifestation of uh, sprue? Uh, well, in fact, uh, in a patient from an endemic area, uh, one should be concerned uh, in this setting uh, particularly with malabsorption and this histologic appearance uh, for tropical sprue. Um, of course, uh, in this situation, it's not a, uh, a gluten sensitivity, and I'm doing your anti-gliadin antibody tests would certainly be negative in this patient. Uh, but with the history of a malabsorptive syndrome and uh, origin from an endemic area, uh, and this appearance of lymphocytic enteritis or early celiac uh, blunting sprue, um, uh, villus blunting could be uh, uh, diagnostic of tropical sprue. There is considerable overlap uh, between these entities, lymphocytic enteritis and early celiac sprue without very much blunting, um, but the distribution will be different. So in uh, tropical sprue, uh, we would expect to see the entire small bowel involved, uh, although it can be somewhat spotty. Whereas with celiac sprue, it's typically uh, just that proximal third or so of the uh, small bowel that tends to be most severely involved. Clinical presentation in tropical sprue is one of malabsorption, and in severe cases, that can be so bad that they will have developed anemia, vitamin deficiencies, maybe B B12 or folate deficiencies uh, superimposed on that. Uh, of course, the interesting thing is that this is a, an endemic disease that is common in certain geographical areas. Um, but sporadic cases can occur in other settings, particularly in cases where we have some, some cause for bacterial overgrowth. 
uh, blind loop syndrome and things of that sort. Um, and that has led to the postulation that it's really a microbiome issue uh, uh, because both uh, antibiotic treatment as well as other features where you've got some sort of antibiotic or some sort of uh, bacterial overgrowth uh, can trigger this uh, disorder. Um, and the fact that in uh, many circumstances, uh, the, the patients will respond to uh, antibiotics. So let's just contrast this. Uh, of course, here's the geographical distrib distribution as uh, provided uh, for us here. Uh, and you can see that it's uh, South Asia, Southeast Asia, East Asia, uh, portions of the uh, uh, in Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Northern Australia, interestingly not uh, Brunei and uh, some other areas, but the Philippines, even portions of Japan um, can uh, have uh, significant incidents. A few spots here and there in the Mediterranean, uh, not totally a tropical disorder there. Uh, but then very prevalent in the Caribbean Basin, southeastern uh, United States, uh, Central uh, America, and uh, northern South America. Although interestingly, uh, it does not seem to involve uh, West Africa uh, or the western uh, tropical region of uh, South America. Um, and so uh, there are some peculiar questions still to be sorted out with this uh, disorder. Well, let's just compare some other examples. Uh, Here's a case of uh, celiac sprue uh, without much villus blunting. So we can see here that we've still got uh, some elongation of the villi, but there's a little bit of fusion here. Um, and in this situation, again, we can see that uh, the hallmark is this increase in uh, uh, intraepithelial lymphocytes uh, along with the, that mild degree of villus blunting. And these lymphocytes can manifest as small dark nuclei amidst the uh, enterocytes, uh, oftentimes with clearing in the cytoplasm. Um, well, let's look at another case here. Um, again, a case with celiac sprue, but in this case, uh, a little bit more advanced. And uh, as we can see here, uh, there is now significant blunting, uh, uh, crypt hyperplasia, um, and if we go to high magnification, well, uh, it's very easy to catch the increased uh, lymphocytes here in the epithelium uh, and in the epithelial compartment. So uh, those are some nice uh, cases to compare and feel free to come back, uh, check the notes below uh, to uh, find a link to the digital slide so you can study these at uh, your leisure. So in summary, our final diagnosis is uh, lymphocyte predominant enteritis, uh, most consistent with tropical sprue. Um, and uh, we appreciate you joining us and hope that if you like this, you'll comment and uh, share it with uh, friends and colleagues. And certainly hope that you'll subscribe so that you don't miss future postings uh, of similar uh, material. Uh, thanks, and uh, we'll see you again soon, we hope.